Hi, welcome to the App Code blog on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at using a dynamic view in conjunction with a UI table view. I had a user on my blog ask a, que ask a question about doing this, so I thought I would do a quick tutorial to demonstrate it. I'm going to be starting with some code from my blog, and you can get it here at www.theappcodeblog.com slash code slash tadbar tutorial 5 dot zip and that'll give you the code that we're going to start with which is right here and I'm going to go ahead and run it so that we can see what we have at the moment we're going to be working on this third view CMYK and right now each time we select a row here in this table view it loads a new view up using a separate nib so each one of these views is its own nib and gets loaded when we select a row well, the user was asking, couldn't we do the same thing with one view and just change the background color depending on what row we selected? And of course we could. And so we are going to do that here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create our dynamic view. So I'm going to create a new nib file here and name it dynamic view and then we're going to create a new view controller for it and we'll name that dynamic view controller and then we're going to go open up that nib and interface builder so we can link that view controller up with our nib file so we're going to select our files owner in the document window Go to the Identity Inspector and select Dynamic View Controller. And then we'll link our views. Just like that. Now I'm also going to add a label to this view just so we can distinguish it from the views that we already had there. And we'll know that we are in fact accessing this new one. So we're just going to name it Dynamic View and center it up. And we're all set there. Okay, now in our dynamic view controller, we are going to have a variable that holds our background color. So I'm going to put that here in the header file, but I'm going to cheat a little bit. I've got one that's all ready to go here. So I'm just going to copy and paste some of this to speed things up. But you'll see all we're doing is declaring a NS string as a instance variable, setting its properties. Then we'll have to go to the implementation file and synthesize that like so and now we also want to work with our view to load method here um, we are going to check that instance variable in this view to load method and depending on what it's set to we're going to change our background color and again, I've got the code for that all ready to go here, so I'm just going to do some copying and pay, copy and pasting here for you. This is the view load method that we're going to use. And we'll just go ahead and replace that one. And you see what happens here is we check that instance variable background color. And depending on what color it is, what, depending on what the value is there, we set our background color of our view with this line right here. Okay, now the rest of the work is going to be done in this view 3 controller. That's the one that gets called when we select that third tab, that CMYK tab. So we're going to work in the header file here first, and we're going to import that new dynamic view controller we made, and then we're going to declare an instance variable of it, just like this. I've done that. Okay. Now we want to set its properties. So go ahead and do that. Save it. And that's it for the header file. Switch over to the implementation file. And we want to synthesize that variable we just created. And we also want to import our dynamic view controller here. Like that. 
And now all the work in this file is going to be done here in this did select row at index path method that we have here. And you see right now we have a switch block that, depending on the case, loads a separate view each time. So you got a black view, a yellow view, a cyan view, a magenta view. Okay, well we're just going to reload one view and we're going to change the color of the background. And that one view, of course, is our dynamic view controller. So we're going to go ahead and get that allocated here. And I'm taking this and doing, and all I'm really doing is repeating this stuff, only I'm using this dynamic view controller. So this is nothing new. Oop, this is with nib name. And the name of the nib is dynamic view. And then our bundle will be NS bundle, main bundle, and then we will set our dynamic view controller equal to temp, and then we can release the temp. And now this last line, which actually pushes the view into place, we're going to do that after our switch block that down here and of course we're going to be pushing that dynamic view controller into place okay now in our switch block here we're no longer going to be pushing um, whoops didn't mean to I knew I did something wrong there okay we're no longer going to be pushing these views into place what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting that instance variable that we created in our dynamic view controller, that background color variable. So now that we have a reference to dynamic view controller, we can whoops, put that there, and access background color, and then set it to be, in this case, cyan. And here we will set it to magenta. Here we will set it to yellow. And finally in this last one, we will set it to black. So you see what's happening here is when we select the row, it creates this dynamic view controller temp file and then assigns it to our instance variable of the dynamic view controller releases a temp file to take care of the memory management and then it's going to set the color and I'll tell you what I'm doing something really stupid here I pasted that back in the wrong spot that should be outside of our block here sorry about that okay now that's in the right place going back with each case we set this instance variable which is in our dynamic view controller to the color that we want it to be and then finally we push that view into place right there. And so we push that view into place and it gets loaded here in the dynamic view controller. It gets loaded here and it checks that variable, the value of that variable that we just set in our view 3 controller and then it sets the background depending on what's the value there. And I think that should just about do it. Let's run it, see if I forgot anything. So we're in CMYK like cyan and you see this is our new dynamic view and it sets the background to the right color and it's using that dynamic view again each time so here we're just using one view and we're setting the background color depending on what we selected there okay that's it um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful please come visit me at www.theappcodeblog.com for more tutorials including some that are more advanced than what I'm doing here on YouTube at the moment. Uh, until I see you next time, bye bye.